Question, can you model up your own stock for Cam inside of Fusion 360? You bet you can, coming right up. Hi everyone, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Today, I gotta thank Ekdet for sending me an email with the question, can I model up my own stock? So when I'm simulating things inside a cam, things looks right. Absolutely. That is what we're gonna cover today. So I will show you a couple of different ways where I have kind of encountered this in the past in real life. One is a part somewhat like, that looks like this. And if you have one of these fancy mill turn machines, might not be a big issue. But um, if you're like, I used to be where you just had a single lathe here and a single mill here, you might wanna do this kind of like in two operations. Now, there is an option inside for, for the turning portion that if we go into the manufacturer tab and uh, we select the setup and you will see that we get the stock showing up as a, a block because by default it's doing milling. If we change that to here in the drop down to turn mill turn, you will see that it actually becomes round in here, what we will probably use for, for the turning operation. And there is actually something called spun profile inside of inside of fusion if you use that it will cut through the part and uh, and you wouldn't have to worry about like turning where there's these cut out feature but i'm going to show you this because I, this has just helped me in the past and it's maybe a little bit dirty um but <laughs> sometimes these tricks works see this model here is the one i got from from the customer right you got to make this model uh, and now i'm sitting in the manufacturing floor it's got to machine this I would actually kind of take this one body and I would copy it like this and just make a pure control C, control V, make a copy without moving it like this. And if now, if I just want to turn off, it will be the same, right? But what I can do is if I turn on off the original body from the customer, I would actually go in and modify this and call this my turning body. So maybe go in and say turning. And uh, it, this is a copy, but what you can do in here is you can go in and start doing uh, some of the solid commands. If I go in here, oops, spin around, select these three faces and hit delete. Then I can actually delete this portion off. So now if I go and turn it off and go back to my original body, it's still there from the customer, right? So what you can do at this point is that you can actually go in and we can delete um, you know the areas that we that we know that you know we don't we don't want these for this model um, so if I go in here and for example say select these window those delete those I can actually take this phase I can delete that now I actually have the profile of of that turning while i still have the original one so the way i can use this is i could now decide that this is what i'm actually going to throw my my tool path on and i would i would do that but i could also use this file when i'm going to actually mill that slot and and this face let me show you that so what i would do is I would turn this off and turn this on and go into manufacturer in here. And now if I create a setup and I will go into my um, turning and this is now what we're gonna turn. And when it comes to the stock in here, this will probably be right. Uh, the standard stock sizes in here, you can modify the different, whatever you want, add some more stock, but this would, this would totally work for doing our turning operation, right? So if I go in here and say turning profile, let's go ahead and select a tool, turning sample, let's just select some kind of a turning tool like this, outside profiling, blah, 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 hit okay. And, uh, and we now have that outside turning profile. That's all good for, for, this, for this portion. Of course my tool is pointing the right way, Never mind. Where, where I want to show you with the custom stock is 
that now when we go to the next operation, what's going to be the milling operation, I'm going to go into the model here um, and I'm going to turn off the, the turning stock and turn back the milling model here. Uh, so now I'll create a new setup for our milling operation. But you see how we get the resembles of the stock. What you can now do is that if you go to stock and we go to the mode here, go to from solid, we can actually select that turning profile. And that's now going to be our stock. So go back to the setup. And I'm just going to face this operation off up here. So I'm going to go to the select Z, Z plane right there. So like that's going to be my setup. Okay. And now if I go in and select a facing operation and um, select a little tool here. Let's do an inch tool. I don't know how big this part is actually. Sounds good. And uh, we can do that facing operation. Right. It's going to be facing this area off right here. Hit OK. When I go now to simulate this. And if we turn the stock on, you will see that we have that turning profile uh, in here. And I didn't select the, the right depth for this tool. I can tell you that right now. Let's go back and edit this. Oops. Edit the tool path. Let's go to the heights tab. And we're going to select selection. Select that there. Okay. Now, when we go to simulate this and we have the stock turned on, you will now see that we get that, that facing operation for that. We can now place the hole. So that's one way that I have done this in the past myself, where I would literally copy that original body, turn it into a turning one. I will use that for also for the, the turning session. So we go over to the turning tool path and I simulate that. There's the original default stock, right? And again, my tool was sitting the wrong way. But that will give us us the turning profile. But when it comes to the actually machining, same thing with the front slot, by using that same turning profile, that's one way. The other way I want to show you is for castings. So let's open this file up. It looks somewhat to a casting I used to to machine. So you get you get this part here and, and in a casting many times you maybe just have to drill all these holes in here. That's all you have to do to the part is literally just maybe face off a top and drill some holes. Well, if you just got to drill the holes, um, it's it's quick programming inside of fusion. I mean, that's that's easy enough. Let's go in and click on a setup milling and just make sure that our Z direction is at the right point right there, right? Maybe that's where we select the point. So the C origin is right there. That may be all good, all great and good. And now we can, we can do the drilling holes. Fine. Let's go in and select the drilling tool. Let's go metric this time. And uh, let's see what we have in drills here. We're going to drill four point. I think it's a four millimeter hole. We're going to select a four millimeter drill. Um, and uh, now we can go in and we can just say select same diameter, select this hole here, and um, select the faces. Select the faces. It will find all the different holes. It's all great. Um, but when you go to simulate this, hit simulate, this is what you get. And that's not really that satisfying, especially when you put this casting up on a, uh, on a table. Now, you could, of course, just turn the stock off. You see, this might be good enough for this area. But again, if we go back into the setup and we go to the stock, you can select that from solid. Now, if I just select this body, though, it would already have the holes in it, what is not really great. So what I'm going to do is go back out to the model and do exactly what I did before. I'm going to take, select this body, do a control C, control V. I get that copy of this and this copy three. I'm just going to hide the original body, 
this one I'm going to rename it stock. And then I can go in and uh, because Fusion is pretty cool, I can select all these different faces because they will not be there in my stock already. Select those. Hit delete on my keyboard. Now they are gone. Now if we go back into our manufacturer, we're going to get a warning here just because i got to recalculate everything. That's all right. But what I'm going to do is when I go in and select my stock, in the stock tab, in the setup, from solid, go in and find that, um, that stock body I just created. Select that one. And now, when we go in and simulate this, let's turn the stock on, you will now see that we have that body without those holes. And now, when you are drilling, you will actually see them see them appear. So this is a super, super, super great way to do this kind of work where you can bring in uh, stock models and you can verify, just give you, let's give you a little bit more of that comfort when you are, uh, when you're working inside of Cam within Fusion. Hector, I hope this is useful. Everybody who watched this, I really appreciate it. Thumbs up if you like this, thumbs down if you don't. It's all good. Really appreciate you taking the time and until the next time, have an awesome, awesome day. Take care, folks.